Hey, do it yourselfers. I am DIY Pete out in Bozeman, Montana, and I wanted to give you a quick review of the Nest Learning Thermostat and show you how to install it. Let's get started. Some of the reasons I like the Nest are number one, it's a very smart device. It's able to learn your preferred settings constantly to automatically set the temperature for your schedule. It's super sleek. It was designed by two guys who used to work for Apple. It's got a very thin profile and it's going to look great on your wall. It's also going to conserve energy to help you save money. It will help you save up to 20% each year on your energy bill. You'll be able to control the temperature from anywhere using either a phone, tablet, or a computer. And there's an app that works for both iPhone and Android and it's very simple to use. It also has an optional password protection feature in case you'd like to prevent anyone from tinkering with the device. For instance, little kids, maybe that coworker at work, or random polar bears that just hang around your house. Now at least they have to have a password to adjust the temperature. You can also monitor the temperature levels at other homes, businesses, and or rentals you might own to ensure those levels are set correctly and for peace of mind. In case the furnace goes out, you'll get a notification and you'll never have to worry about frozen pipes ever again. They actually make it fun to adjust and use the thermostat. You just turn the dial left or right, very similar to adjusting the volume on an iPod. All right, let's move on to the install. For tools and supplies, you're going to need the screwdriver that's provided in the box with the Nest, most likely a drill with a bit. And depending on how you do the install and if you use the cover plate that's provided with the Nest, you may need a hammer, spackle, paintbrush, paint, and drywall anchors. And of course, you'll need a Nest Learning Thermostat. For more details and information, just head over to DIYPete.com slash Nest. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing process. You'll notice that Nest pays attention to all the little details, and this starts with the packaging and marketing of their product. I think it's really well done. A bird nest? All right, this time we're for real. So here is the brand new Nest unit coming right out of the box. We'll remove that and go down into the instruction level. Here you can pull out the instructions and then you'll see that it comes with a nice screwdriver that has both a Phillips and a flat blade on it. And then it also has the mounting bracket, some screws, and finally the optional mounting plate set. This is used in case you have some uh, screws from the previous thermostat that you need to cover up and you don't have the time to paint and spackle them. The first step when installing the Nest is to first turn off the power. So go to your breaker panel and turn off the breaker switch that controls the furnace. Remove the front cover from your thermostat. All thermostats are going to be a little bit different so the process might differ slightly. But once that's done you can usually pop off the display as well and then you're going to be able to take a look at the wiring. I have three wires that come into the thermostat, a red, white, and green. You'll want to take a picture of that configuration and then head over to the Nest website at www.nest.com forward slash work to double check to make sure that your furnace is going to be compatible with the Nest. Simply click on the wires that you have coming into the current thermostat. It looks like we're compatible and ready to go. Use the screwdriver provided by Nest and remove each wire one at a time. Simply turn the screw and you can pull that wire right out. The next step is to use the stickers Nest provides in the instruction manual to mark the wires to help remind you of where they'll go in that new thermostat. And I actually forgot to do this and didn't really need to since I took a photo, but here's a look at me marking the wires a little later in the tutorial. Now you can remove the back plate of the thermostat from the wall. Usually it's held on with just a couple screws. Pull it away and you'll notice that there are some holes left from the screws that were previously attaching that thermostat. And if you just mounted the Nest, it probably wouldn't be able to cover all those holes. So you have a couple options. One, Nest provides a cover plate that you can simply put on and then wire up the Nest and put it into place. And the other option is to fill those holes so that you don't have to have that extra plastic plate around it. I think it looks a little bit more clean if you do that. And so use some spackle and fill in those holes with either your finger or a putty knife. 
Once it's dried, you can sand it to remove the extra putty. And once it's all sanded, you can go ahead and repaint that area. I like to use a little roller and to really kind of feather it out to blend the paint into the rest of the wall. If you decide to go without the plastic cover plate like I did, you can then grab the nest mount and attach it to the wall. This is also where the wiring is all going to connect into. This little disc has a built-in level so you can get it perfectly straight. And then use either a screw or a pencil to put little dimples into the top and bottom holes so that you know where the screws are going to go. If there is not a stud or piece of wood directly behind where the thermostat screws are going, I'd recommend using a drill and a bit to create some holes and then you can insert drywall anchors so that you can fasten that nest disc securely to the wall. Then you would use a hammer to tap those drywall anchors flush with the wall. Use the built-in level to make sure the disc is straight and then put screws in the top and bottom hole and fasten using the nest screwdriver. Here's a clip of me labeling the wires just to remind me where the wires will go. And you'll want to usually do this right when you're disconnecting the thermostat, but I forgot, so I just wanted to show you the process. And you could also look at the picture on your phone. Next, straighten the end of the wire and insert it into the slot. Push the tab down and then slowly push the wire into that slot. You'll want to wire it in the same manner that your previous thermostat was wired. And if you have any questions on how yours should be configured, head over to nest.com forward slash work. Now is the fun part, we get to connect the Nest display, find the port on the back and line it up with the disc and then simply push the Nest into place. Then go ahead and flip the breaker switch back on and that's going to fire up the Nest for the first time. It's going to take a little while for the Nest to boot up for the first time and once it does turn on you'll be able to start working with the settings. You can pick the language, I picked English, and then you can move on to setting up the internet connection. You'll go ahead and find your Wi-Fi network. Mine was MT. And then you can rotate the disk to type in your password specific for your wireless router. Once that's done, you'll wait for it to connect. Once it does connect, it'll say that you are online with the Nest. And then it will download any updates that it needs to. The updating process can take a couple of minutes. And once it is done, then you can go into the heating and cooling section and work on the settings. I have a gas forced air heater, and so that's what I put in there. And then you'll go on to your location, you'll put in your zip code, describe the location, and finally, you can set where the nest is in your home. After this, you can set up the minimum temperature you'd like when you are away. And this might differ if you have pets and also depending on where you live in the country. Click continue and the Nest will begin to learn your preferred temperature and schedule. If you'd like to be able to control the Nest from a smartphone, tablet, or computer, you can head over to nest.com slash account. This is where you can set up your Nest account and you can also download the Nest app for your phone. Now you can open up the app or a browser window and learn how to control your thermostat remotely. You can see it's very easy to adjust the temperature. You can also work with the fan timer scheduling. You can review the energy consumption and all of the stats. And there's a whole bunch of other settings you can adjust. And this is a look at the Nest interface if you were on a computer. You can see it's laid out very similar to the actual Nest app that would be on your smartphone. Here you can see how fast the Nest thermostat does adjust when controlling it remotely. You'll notice that it does react very quickly. All right, thanks so much for tuning in to the DIYPete.com review and installation of the Nest Learning Thermostat. For other DIY project reviews, ideas, and inspiration, head over to DIYPete.com and connect with me on Facebook at facebook.com slash DIY projects with Pete. For more information and links to get a Nest thermostat, click the link below. And lastly, please subscribe if you found this review helpful. All right, good luck with your projects and cheers from Bozeman, Montana. Well, I wasn't expecting this kind of a Nest, but we'll dry it. A bird nest? A bird nest?
Don't forget to watch some of the other videos on my YouTube channel. Click on the left thumbnail to find out how you can make your own concrete patio table with a built-in cooler and LED lights. And for more reviews, like one on how to install a touchscreen keypad for your door, click on the video on the right. Lastly, please subscribe. All right, cheers, guys.